Tonight, we showed you yesterday how high winds toppled a 30-foot-tall sign onto a woman's car down south in Greenwood. Well, now 13 investigators is looking into who's responsible for the signs as well as their upkeep. Our Jenny Renovich tonight is live in Greenwood tonight with what we found out. Jenny, what's the news? Yeah, Andrea, a lot of people reached out, especially on social media, and especially after this accident that brought down that huge 30-foot-tall sign onto someone's car. We started asking questions, too, when we noticed this. Take a look at the posts where that sign broke off. They appear to be completely rusted through. Now, take a look at pictures from that accident last Thursday. A woman leaving her hair salon. She was waiting to turn into traffic when, in strong winds, that huge sign suddenly fell on top of her car. Kathy Velez still in critical condition tonight at Methodist Hospital. So, who is responsible for making sure those commercial signs are safe? Well, we checked with G Greenwood and with Indianapolis. Both cities do have ordinances about the size and location of signs, and those rules do specifically say the signs have to be maintained. But that is all up to the property owner to do so. At least in Greenwood and in Indianapolis, there is no ongoing inspection of signs, and the state says it's not responsible for checking the signs either. Now, the city does inspect these structures when they issue the initial permit, but after that, no inspection. It is up to the property owner who owns the sign to do that. You can see again the posts here at the sign in Greenwood appear to be completely rusted through. Police did tell me that the property owner in this case was checking with his engineers, structural engineers, to try and figure out what went wrong here. Back to you.